The final moments of Harambe's life are captured on video. Now, the outrage is written with a social media megaphone. You know, social media is, you know, it, it's widely available. Hundreds of thousands of opinions. It's very popular. On every topic related to the shooting. And we're emotional people and it has given us a platform to, you know, share our emotions right away without any real filter. Dr. Jeffrey Blevins is head of the University of Cincinnati Journalism Department and an expert on social media. He's been reviewing posts like these. Sign the petition to hold the idiotic, quote, parents responsible. Or, not sure why they killed me, I was doing a better job of watching that lady's kids than she was. To should have shot the mother, it would have been a better choice. And what we've seen is kind of, you know, the, the classic, you know, blame and shame. You know, they want, you know, people want to blame someone, they want to shame them. And in this case, a lot of the attention has focused on, you know, the child's parents, particularly the mother. There are even petitions to get the mother charged. This one has over 350,000 supporters. Coincidence or not, the Cincinnati police have now launched an investigation. It's specific to determine if the mother is criminally liable. The Hamilton County Prosecutor's Office releasing this statement saying, once their investigation is concluded, they will confer with our office on possible criminal charges. Eventually, the virtual voices will move on to the next viral video. It would be nice to have more of a, of a dialogue, more of, of learning, more information uh, exchange, but really it, it tends to empower people just to preach to their own choirs. Now, police could be called in to look at some of those comments if they cross the line from opinion into threat. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.